Hey, bro, got my battery. No! <laughs> easy, easy. I'm Dr. Murphy, hypnosis. You were hypnotized. You were in deep. I hypnotized you. Okay, now come out of it slowly. Hypnosis. McLean, now, you said while you were under that your parents were frozen to death. Is that right? I died in a car accident. Mm -hmm. It's my dreams, they die in all sorts of different ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're on fire, sometimes they're drowning. Uh -huh. Last time they were mm -hmm. falling off a cliff and mm -hmm. I can't do anything about mm -hmm. it. And then he's there every time mm -hmm. filming the mm -hmm. whole thing. Ah, he, your brother, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's quite frustrating, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if you can tell me what I need to know to get rid of him, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, do you want me to keep talking? I, Kind of got to the end of my thought there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, 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 you have a dream uh, that you can't interpret. So you're wondering what that means. So he, let me explain. Okay. Now, dreams, right, are come from the brain. Right, your brain goes to sleep and you create these dreams. Now, dreams, uh, even though the brain is creating them, the brain can't actually do the things that you're dreaming about. Do you understand that, right? So, so really what it comes down to, there, there's a famous uh, hypnotherapist. His name is uh, Jonathan Mayer. Uh, he, he described the body as being a wonderland. And what I need you to understand about dreams is that when the, oh, you're not following me. Let, let, let me simplify this a little bit more. Dreams are hmm, not real. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm aware that dreams are not real, okay? I just want them to end because my parents have been gone for over 15 years. Okay, now, 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 this is just me. Just a hunch, but maybe, uh, you know, your dreams are not about your parents as much as they are about, um, hmm, your brother. My brother. Yes. Right, the, he's, he's the, uh, the delusional one, yes. you, you, you said, right? Okay, they're not about my brother. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, but, but he's the only one in the dream that's alive other than you, right? So. Well, he's dead to me. Okay. He's probably dead. Uh, dead to <clears throat> you, right? Okay, right? He's pretty much the worst brother you could ever ask for. Mm -hmm. After my parents died, he decided to go crazy and leave me with all the aftermath, so. Mm. No, mm -hmm. it's not about him. You know, he tries to make mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. about him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that all you do, is sit there and... Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good. Now, tell me how this makes you feel. <laughs> You're the worst, man. Not, 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 not to call you out on something, but, but how could I be the worst when you just said your brother is the worst, right? We can't both share that title, right? Which leads me to the, my next point, which is that maybe, uh, you know, your issues here are with your brother that you're just not facing, and you instead are projecting, you know, um, your anger on me. What I'm currently trying to wrap my brain around is how in the world my wife convinced me to sit here and do this. Now, 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 try to use I feel statements. I feel this, I feel that. I feel like you're an idiot. Uh-huh, okay? okay. I feel like this is a w complete waste of time, mm -hmm. waste of money, mm -hmm. and I also feel that you look like a weasel. Hmm. Actually, no, a ferret. You have a tiny ferret's head on an abnormally large trunk and tiny little baby legs. Okay, now I feel maybe you should make amends with your brother and then the dreams would go away. <laughs> I'm late. Goodbye, little guy. You're free. Hey, babe. I uh, was just calling to see how your session went. Um, I hope well. I'm out running a few errands, so I'll be home a little bit later, okay? All right, love you. Bye. Jake? 
car. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's no, really hey, you. No, what are you doing? How do you know it's really me? You can't just open the door like that. Well, do you have McLean's eyes? And also, I've seen a lot of pictures of you, and you haven't really changed that much, so. That's true. Come right, in. I'll buy it. <laughs> you can't be too careful. There's lots of crazies going on. You just can't open your door for strangers, you know? Amen. Oh, were you saying a prayer? Should mm -hmm. I have? <laughs> no, I was, I was agreeing with you. Oh. It's so nice to finally meet you. I know, it's nice to meet you too. I feel like I've already known you for Me forever. Too. Yeah, that's it's how awesome. the best it is. I agree. Yeah. So, uh, what made you contact me? You contacted me. That was the last test. <laughs> you passed. You are the true flair. I am, let's see. Yeah. Oh man, that's so fun. This is quite the meeting spot. Oh yeah. I like how nice and secluded it is. In fact, one could almost murder one, and one would never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. So what do you say, sis-in-law? I don't know. It's just he's been on edge lately. Like, we're having some personal problems, and, yeah. and also he's been having these terrible nightmares. So I just, I just don't know if the timing's right. That's what I thought at first, too. But then I remember that we had the best time at Christmas. So I just thought, what better timing, right? Well, what about this? What if you call him right now and you ask him? Then maybe he'll agree to it. I think we both know what he'll say. Well, this was going to be fun, but you seem very nice. I was looking forward to getting to know you guys again. And you, again, for the first time. Well, wait. Take it easy. Wait, Jake, Jake. Huh? Okay. I don't feel comfortable lying to him, but what if you happen to show up at the family cabin that we're going to be at all weekend long? I see. I'll happen to be there, maybe. <laughs> You don't know this, but you just made the best decision of your life. <laughs> Good luck getting out of here. Bye. See you soon. McLean? I'm in here. Hey. Hey. So? How was it? Was he so good? Actually, he was insane. Complete waste of money and a total quack. What? Yeah. But that's so weird. He was so highly recommended. I knew it was a bad idea. I don't need a therapist. I just need to bury this like normal people do. I mean, he didn't have any good points? Not one. He said he thinks my dreams stem from issues with my brother. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. He said that maybe I should try reconnecting with him that it might help me leave the past in the past. <laughs> maybe he's right. I mean, maybe you've been feeling bad because your relationship with him is so broken. First of all, he's the one that broke the relationship when he went full crazy on me and when he abandoned me, okay? And second of all, why are you taking the side of some hypno bullcrap artist? Because it actually makes sense and maybe he can make you feel better. I feel great, actually. I feel wonderful. But secretly, deep down, don't you wish you could fix things with him? I mean, maybe he's super nice and likable. And isn't Christmas the perfect time for that? This is completely insane. You don't have to be rude. No, check out this last minute travel deal I got. No, 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 we're not going to Fiji for Christmas. You said I needed something new. Maybe this is a sign. The universe does not send Groupon text alerts as signs. Well, I want you to imagine one thing. You and me, on a romantic beach, on Christmas Eve. Come on, doesn't that sound romantic? I mean, the cabin is just, it's just so blah. The cabin is not blah. The cabin is the most Christmassy place ever, and Fiji is like the least Christmassy place ever. Okay, but I just want something different, you know? Let's, um, let's start a new tradition, me and you. No, a tradition is something you do every year. You don't just start a new tradition, willy-billy. Willy-billy? This is perfect. Your parents are off cruising the Mediterranean. Your brothers are with their in-laws this year. We, we can just go off, you and I. 
I'm telling you, I have a really special feeling about this year. I think it's going to be amazing. I might even have a special surprise. Let's just do your surprise right now. No, we're going to the cabin and it's going to be the most Christmassy Christmas ever and you're going to be happy about it, okay? Christmassy is not a word. Maybe not, but Scrooge is. Actually, that's a name, so. Okay. Come on, you don't have to be the Christmas bully. Really? Okay, fine. You're not the Christmas bully. You're just like a disgruntled elf or something. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do it. We'll go to the cabin this year. And maybe next year we'll have an enjoyable Christmas. Cool. See you next year. See, look at these clouds. I'm worried about this storm coming in. I think we'll be okay. What I'm worried about more than this storm is, what is my big surprise gonna be? Is it a baby deer that I get a raise to be a buck? You're dumb. Uh, how about this? Is it a cardboard cutout of Carl Weathers eating chicken parm? Ew, no. I am going to keep trying until I get it right. <laughs> okay. Is it a North Korean pen pal? A Britney Spears chia head? A self-cleaning churro machine? King Triton's trident? Aladdin's lamp? <laughs> Cave of wonders, all the treasures. A thingamabob, a jingle hopper. A head of a Monrovian diplomat. Heart of a gypsy. Oh, gosh, please stop talking. It's the heart of a gypsy. I can tell. Okay. You really want me to tell you? Yes, I do. Okay, this is a pretty big surprise. So, are you sure you're ready? Lay it on me. Ah. All the podcasts I listen to, Tony Robbins says this is supposed to be good. He says to bring a crazy person into your home? Crazy? I mean, look at him. He looks completely harmless. Yeah, he may look harmless and cozy and soft, but guess what? He thinks he's a time traveler. Well, I think that's cool. And I'd like to get to know your time traveling brother. So I say he's staying. What makes you be the one who decides? I mean, come on, McLean. He's not some homeless man off the side of the street. You're being irrational. I'm being irrational. You're the one who wanted to bring him here. We should have brought him to an ER. He needs professional help. Actually, I'm okay. I'm, I'm all right. The tent actually took the brunt of the hit. Oh my gosh, he lives in a tent. You cannot kick him out. This is what he does. He's doing it to you now. I'm sensing a lot of weird energy from- No, 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 McLean here, he was just saying how excited he is to have you here. No, I, I was saying let's not get excited because Jake probably has to leave. No, no, you were saying you can't wait to catch up and reconnect with your strange brother. No, I thought it was strange that my brother came here to our cabin after 15 years. No, no, you straight up said, Oh, I'm so happy to have our brother here at our family cabin. What a great Christmas surprise. No, Jake, this is what I said. I said, you and I both know this is probably a really bad idea. So you should just, yeah, I should probably, probably go, yeah. I miss this place. Ouch. Ouch. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna head out. Probably get to a trusted Instacare facility. One with a decent concussion protocol. Your Prius is, it was a, popped me good. Jake, wait. No, I should probably actually get to the ER. It's a billboard that said there's only a 28 minute wait. I'll be fine, don't worry. I'm gonna get there before all the eternal bleeding. It's, I'll be fine by myself. Ow, on my shoulders. No, I'm gonna take you. No. Just let me get my boots on. I don't want you driving out there. Oh, we'll be fine. You don't know that. The roads could be bad. Well, clearly he can't walk down there. So what's your solution? Jake, just... What, McLean? Shut the I door can... so you can hear me. What? You can stay here tonight and you're welcome to leave first thing in the morning. Serious? That's perfect. Great. Great. 
That's great. Are you hungry? I'm starving, Claire. I got uh, hit by a car. <laughs> I'll make you a sandwich. Yeah, no mustard. Right. Okay. So, yeah. No mustard. Want to get a puzzle, Mac? Uh, you can do a puzzle with Claire. I am going to get firewood for Mr. Clark. The taxidermy guy? No offense, but why doesn't he get it himself? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because he's paralyzed from the waist down. Wouldn't you know that? Or maybe you were off at the Gettysburg Address. Yeah, right. I was probably somewhere way cooler. Well, I don't want you to go alone. I'll go with you. I'm fine. You know, what if you get lost and you have to sleep inside a dead horse? How come my logs feel like they're way heavier than yours? I feel like mine are heavier than yours. Mr. Clark, do you need help? No, I got it. Stay right there, guys. I'll be right with you. We brought you some firewood. Hey, Mr. Clark. Dude, one more. Brothers. Hi, guys. Give me one second here. Grab the door. Uh, okay. Oh, gravy. Oh, gravy. I got it. I got her. Do you want? Give me, give me one second. Okay. Oh, you little stinker. Okay. Come on. Uh, I'm almost there. Come on. Well, just sh shut it. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh I... I am so sorry. Are you cold? Oh, good gracious. You look really cold. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not deaf. I'm just paralyzed. OK. I'm great. Ah, I'm sorry. I was no, that is just uh, fine. I haven't had any tingles in my jingles since the accident. That's you, Jakey. And I didn't even recognize you. Well, how you been? How are you doing? Oh, well, I, you know, I can't complain. I, you know, except for my severed spine. But other than that, I'm doing real great. Right. I'd invite you all in for some cocoa, but I just, I've been skinning a mama moose in there. It's like a real crime scene. That's okay. We just wanted to drop by the firewood and say hello. And spread a little Christmas cheer. Oh, that's real great of you guys. I appreciate it so much. Why don't you two sing that Christmas song y'all used to sing to me every, every Christmas? I don't know if we remember it. Yes, yeah. come on, sing it. We don't have the right key. We, I, don't, I just would worry it'd be bad. Well, all right. I mean, if you don't want to sing it, you don't have to, but it would sure put a lot of feeling back into my useless spine. Remind me of some simpler times. Times when I didn't have to use the internet to get a carcass. I could just go out there and see a moose and kill him with my own hands. And just act like Samson, you know, slaying the lions with the jawbone of his ass. You know, blood just doesn't feel the same on my fingertips if I don't shed it my <laughs> away in a manger no crib for a bed the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head the stars in the heaven looked down where he lay the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay asleep on the hay well thank you boys that, that was real nice it's sure good to see you two are still thick as thieves your parents would be so proud of you, you know. God rest them. They was just the best. I just, I sure appreciate you guys coming out here and visiting an old cripple for Christmas. You know, Christmas is a hard time when you're living by yourself, you know, and you don't have any family and you're just thinking about family and, and you just sit quietly by a candle and you put on your jammies and sit by the fire and think about doing a puzzle and you know you sometimes I draw pictures of, of my family on the wall and I think well these are the people that love me and they really can't love me can they and I kiss them and hug them and cry and good okay do you just put it in there oh let me I'll, I got that can I just leave it there sure 
Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, sometimes I just, you know, I think about people that Let's ride. would love to be around me at Christmas time. It's just that time of year where okay. I would love to hear a, something warm and happy, you know? Simpler times, really thinking about times when I didn't have to go on the internet to get a car. Hey. Hey. Claire said to give you this. Oh, well, thanks. Don't use up all the hot water. Hey, you, you want to blow some ships up? No, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to go to bed. Come on, one game before I leave in the morning? It'll be fun. That was really cool that you made me help Mr. Clark today. I like that. I didn't make you do anything. No, but I just... You're always good at being nice to people, and I... I guess I just forgot that. I can't believe you remember that harmony. I will never forget that. Anyway, it's kind of ironic that uh, both showed up at the cabin at the same time, right? No, that's a coincidence. What? Irony would be like, in this game, if you always put your ships in the middle, even though you lost every time you did that. Coming here after 15 years and seeing me, that's just coincidence. Yeah, I guess so. I forgot how you're always so smart. So, are you ready to go? Just give me a second, okay? If this is my last game with you, then I want to make it special. It's going to be a long weekend. Probably have time for a rematch. I thought I was leaving in the morning. Well, I decided that you can stay through Christmas. Are you serious? That is awesome. Well, this isn't for you, and it's not for me. It's for Claire. We're gonna do it for her. Let's do it for her. You gotta give them what they want. That, women are crazy like that, right? Promise me you're going to be normal. The normalist. Yes. Bernard family Christmas style. Yeah. Zach, that's awesome. I think that's really cool. But you have to promise me one thing. If his weirdness gets too weird, you have to back me up. I can't imagine that happening. Give him time. Apparently he has all the time in the world. <laughs> you know what? What, you didn't even laugh at my joke. It's hilarious, I know, but guess what? It's like really embarrassing that he brings that up all the time. More embarrassing than this little situation happening over here. I've lost 15 pounds since I started working out with Reggie. Okay, but promise me one thing. Promise that you will never, ever lose these little love handles. Right okay. Here. Okay, that's just rude. I'm serious. I love them. And prove it. Come here. Babe, your brother is in the other room. <sighs> Whose fault is that? Hey, I'll be quiet if you will. Hey, get a room, you guys. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Don't worry, I didn't hear anything. I just was wondering, do you guys have any other ice cream? This one looks like the Ice Planet Hoth. We don't. I'm sorry. But I can go into town tomorrow and grab some. OK, just wanted to check okay. and see. All right. All right. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Uh, Jake. Yes. You want to shut the door? I do want to, but um, you guys have a thermostat in here. And if it gets too chilly out there, I want to I want to creak the door and wake you guys up, and I'll just leave it open. I can just come in and... Yeah, of course. Leave the door open. No big deal. Okay. Thank you, Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Claire. Thanks. Okay. All right. I'm just out there on that on that sofa that you built into a bed, right? Yeah. Is yeah. that okay? Great. It's great. The, the, the bar in the middle of the back one. Do you, you want to sleep in the attic? No. I don't. This is, it's gonna be good. Thank you so much. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, see you in the morning. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah. He's so nice. I'm really tired. <laughs> Get your boots on. What's going on? Hurry up. Dude, what's 
Temple. gonna need this. Go! What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? of holly fa la 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 I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on, on Christmas, Christmas Day. I saw three bagels come sailing in on Christmas Day in the, the morning. morning. On the twelve days of Christmas my true love gave to me twelve giant enormous muffins. We three kings, we three kings, see how we roll. And heaven and heaven and angels sing. Born is the king of Israel. You have a lovely voice. Thank you, so do you. I know. On your, I'll, do, I'll do this one by myself. Okay. On your knees. You sound beautiful. Uh, thank you. Oh, hear the angel's voices. Oh, night divine. Oh, night. Oh, night divine. Good King Winsleslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. Brightly shone the snow about, deep and crisp and even. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just thinking about Good King Winsleslas. He was good. I was actually at that feast of Stephen. He's just a really good king. I liked him. So, <clears throat> how does it work, exactly? I think you just teach your subjects good principles and let them... No, 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 I mean, um, the time travel, did you, like, invent a machine or... Claire, something? I can't even open a package of Oreos without destroying it. You think I'm gonna invent a time machine? I just, I didn't know how... No, no way. It's all about my body temperature. Really? Yeah. How does that work? Well, since you asked, it all started after the accident. The one where my mom and dad got yeah. killed yeah, I know. in the car accident. I was in a coma in the hospital and one night this idiot nurse named Daryl accidentally flipped off the heater in my room. I was balls cold. Oh, gosh. But I couldn't press the call button because I was in a coma. So I just had to imagine somewhere super warm. Next thing you know, I'm in uh, 12th century BC, Egypt, under the reign of Ramses the Third. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. It was fun, very fun at first. Wow. I was sunbathing in the Nile. Yeah. I was hanging out with lots of celebrity Egyptians. Really? Yeah, but I don't speak hieroglyphics for crap, so it got old very fast. Oh. Kind of sucked after that. And then how did you get back? Oh, well, I sold myself into slavery and got shipped to Scandinavia and basically just hopped off the boat once we got to the North Sea. It, then that just did it. I got cold enough and then boom. Wow. Yep, there I am. Incredible, hey, really? what's going on in here? Huh? Ooh. I swear I heard you talking about Ramses III. What was that about? Oh, I was <laughs> telling Claire uh, just to, uh, what kind of a history buff you are. Mm -hmm. Well, did he tell you how uh, his wife conspired to kill him, take the throne? Oh, yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> Speaking of favorites, Look what we did for our favorite guy. Surprise! <laughs> Are you hungry? We did this for our favorite guy. Okay, so we crossed service off the list with Mr. Clark, but the next thing is we need a tree, like yesterday. Agreed. So I say when we're done here, we head right down to Lone Pine before it gets too crowded. Lone Pine? Yeah. You're in the middle of Mother Nature and you want to get your tree from a stupid mall? Well, they have good prices and they have this noble fur that I was checking out. Claire. 
You don't pick a tree. A tree picks you. Really? Mac, have you taught her nothing of our family traditions? I tried, but she said no fake trees. End of story. Sorry. Fake trees? What are we, Chinese? I know, I said the same thing. What does that mean? It means that the Bernard family tradition is to trudge through the frozen tundra at the risk of hypothermia and to let the light of Christmas shine down on the tree that chooses us. Really? Yeah, really, Claire. Oh, I love that. That is so Christmassy. I know. Why didn't you ever tell me that? Because it's 100% something that we never, ever did. What are you talking about? Dad was allergic to pine, and Mom was religiously against the deforestation of conifers. We never did that. Then why did we load up in the station wagon every year and go into the backwoods to cut down a big old Christmas tree? Because you're confusing our family with the Griswolds, okay? No. Yes, you are. Dad drove a Mercury Sable. We never, ever did that. That's not true, Claire. Don't listen to him. Oh, never mind. That You're right. That was from Christmas Vacation. <laughs> yeah. But it was a tradition to watch Christmas Vacation every year. It's a classic. I love that. We should do that. Well, I'll see if I can get it on demand. No, no, not the movie. Well, we should do that. But also, we should do the tree thing. We should start that tradition. Yes, I call Chevy Chase. No, no way. I call him McLean. No, we're not. No way we're going to get a tree. We don't have a permit, and there's no way we're gonna get one this late. What are you talking about? There's no park rangers out on patrol at this time of year. Yeah. These are maybe the Jewish ones. <laughs> this is the exact time of year that they do patrol around because people like you go out and poach them. McLean, the, the chances of a Jewish ranger is slim to none. <laughs> yeah. Plus they hate camping. All religious stereotypes aside, we don't have a permit, we're not doing it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. We have been chosen. The perfect tree. Just like the movie. Come on. Beautiful. I think you should do the honors. Wait, me? No, this is your idea. You're the oldest. Plus, I got a whiz like Sea Biscuit. Well, why don't you just go on one of the right here and soil someone's Christmas? Yeah. I don't think so. I'll be right back. Huh? You're really doing this? Chop, chop. Okay. Watch out. Hold it right there, bub. That's it. Reach for the sky. Come on. Unless you want 30 cc's of bear tranquilizer, stat. You gotta be kidding me. I'm only gonna say this once. Lower your weapon. I repeat, lower your weapon. Hey! Who told you to put your hands down? She did. If she told you to jump off a cliff, would you do that? No. Then why did you lower your hands? What is going on here? That's what we want to know. We're all ears. Yeah. Why don't you tell us what you and that pretty little lady are gonna do with that fir tree? Sorry, my partner doesn't like it when I refer to other women. It's pretty. My fiance doesn't like it when I refer to her as my partner. It's not as intimate, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, totally, I get that. No one asked you, toots, so hey. shut your mouth, all right? You're in enough trouble as it is. This particular species is the preferred domicile of the American cuckoo. Cute little guys. I know, the best. Yeah. So you better hope your hubby here has a permit for this evergreen before he goes all Paul Bunyan on it, or you'll be having a blue, blue Christmas. That's right. And with that permit, you won't be going home for Christmas, and you can count on that. Yeah, you'll be spending the 12 days of Christmas in the clink. Okay, we get it. Give you the permit, or it's like, come, you'll take us to jail, 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 jail. Hey, hey, hey. you think this is funny? That's a pretty good one. Write that one down. I've already memorized it. Yeah, good. Now just give us the permit. We'll be on our way. 
Listen, we don't have an actual permit oh, per se. Oh, that's not what we oh, wanted okay. to hear, pal. Sorry. Because right. it's Santa Baby. Uh, baby, it's cold out. Uh, come on, let's go. I have it. I have it. I have a permit. I got it. Sorry, I have the permit. Your honors. Right. That's it, right there. Sorry. It was kind of riding dirty. It stinks, but uh, All right. it checks out. Yeah, you better believe it. Yeah, now, but uh, what's with your nakedness here? Oh, I'm sorry. Is my dress code in violation of the National Park? No, just a matter of personal curiosity. Then I plead the fifth. You're within your rights. Uh, thanks. Well, good luck to you folks then, and good luck with the harvest. Take care. And may uh, Santa, maybe next Christmas, Santa baby, uh, mm, no. Good luck. After you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> they were Jewish. But why don't you have any clothes on? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think it has something to do with the time traveling. Just when I come back, it's super hot, so just... I full on just shed my layers. Anyways, I wasn't planning on time traveling today, or at all this weekend, but desperate times. You know what I mean? Luckily, though, saved your butts from going to jail. He said he was gonna take you, and I believe it. Well, thank you. Oh, Claire, don't even. All right, Mackie, you wanna cut that down? We'll just drag it. I. We'll go start the snowmobile. Okay. All right. Okay. See you guys. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie treu sind deine Blätter. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. Hey, babe, can you make me a gallon of sugar water? I want to make sure this tree lives as long as possible. Who are you texting? I'm not texting anyone. I'm looking up the nearest mental institution in case we need it. Well, I'd wish you stopped doing that and help me. You're not being very Christmassy. Are we just gonna pretend like everything is normal? What happened out there was probably one of the most absurd things that's happened to me in a very, very long time. Yeah, it was weird. It wasn't that weird. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, in the context of the Jake I've known for the last 24 hours, it wasn't that weird. He disappeared to take a leak and then came back half naked, claiming to have gone back in time. Yeah, and this morning, he told me that his best friend was Richard Nixon, so what should my frame of reference be? Okay, I can handle some idle banter about his historical fantasies, but once he starts lying to us and also lying to law enforcement, that's where I have a problem. Okay, park rangers, not law enforcement. There's a difference. I just don't understand why you're not more concerned about this. Okay, so he's a little crazy. So what? So what? What if he hurts himself? What if he hurts us? He could burn this entire place down. <laughs> With what, an acapella riff? Come on, he's harmless. Okay, you don't know that. Relax, okay? Did he hurt anyone? Did he break any rules? I think the only thing he's endangering is your ability to be a martyr. Okay, are you being serious right now? Yeah, you know what, I am. Because our whole marriage, all I've ever heard you talk about is how hard it is to not have a family. About how there's this void in your heart that no one can understand. You have your brother here and all you're doing is looking for excuses of how to get rid of him. He thinks he can time travel. I don't need an excuse. Maybe he can. Okay, you need to stop it. I'm just saying he pulled a tree permit out of his armpit dated three days ago, so. That is not time travel, Claire. That is called picking one up beforehand so he can dupe his sister-in-law. Don't you see what he's doing? What, spreading Christmas cheer? Being in a good mood? Making me laugh for the first time in, I don't know, months? I mean, you said you'd give him a chance. Yeah, well, he is lying to us. You know what, maybe he is. He might not be able to visit the past, but at least he knows how to live in the present. Come on. What happened, did she burn herself on the hot chocolate? Did you burn yourself too? I should take a little try, right? Fudge. It is hot. Babe? Can I come in? Can you just give me a minute, please? I'm sorry. I'm 
I overreacted. I just, I'll change my attitude, I promise. I really need you to come help me decorate the tree. I'm not ready to talk to you right now, okay? Where's Claire Bear? She's uh, taking a rest in the room. I said we should start without her. Perfect, I got the family ones. Hey, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you just, the rest of the time we're here, just not talk about time travel? Well, that is a, I, I'm really, just stop it. All right, I'll stop. You know who I am. No. Got that out of the way. Let's show Claire how we decorate a Christmas tree. Yeah, Bernard Bro style. <laughs> oh, ow, it's in my eyes. That's never happened. Okay, now make sure that it's like pretty and even and spaced around. Now go around, keep going. Okay, pretty, pretty side out. Now hand it over to me. Coming at you. But now we're stuck up there. Oh, you're stuck up. Good one, pal. Thanks, dude. Hey, hold on, move that over that. Take a couple of these bad boys. Actually, I'll hand them to you, okay? Okay. We should put them like all over. Yeah, I think we should put them all over. All right, I'm getting kind of tired. Dad always hated these ones. But yeah, Dad was afraid of red, the color red. He was like a bull in a china shop. Mm -hmm. Should we put any in the back or the back is not a lot in the back? This is mainly for the front. Do you need these things? Maybe I do take one of the bags. Are you just throwing them up there? No, I got it. I hung it up. It's perfect. You don't put that there. Put that right here. Oh, that's a good idea. I just saw all untangle all mine. You have smaller fingers. No, I don't. It's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you have bigger hands with smaller fingers. This is This will be the best for last. Oh, yeah. Cool, dude. Oh yes, here we have the classic clothespin Rudolph with the sparkly nose, cotton tail, made by yours truly in 1988. That's awesome. Oh yes, here we have the creepy clown doll, painted by me in 1995 at Granny and Papa's new house. Ah oh, yes, I remember that, yeah. You were quite adept with the paintbrush, even at 10. Oh truly, 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 truly. truly, truly. <laughs> oh, remember this one? I love that. This is my favorite one. Yeah, that was mine. This is not yours, this is mine. No, that one's mine. Yours was yellow and you ripped the cord right off. First oh, day. That's true. Dang. 2001. Man, that seems like yesterday. Seems like every day. You want to talk about those dreams? How did you... Don't be mad at her. She just, she's worried about you. And she's a blabber when she's uncomfortable. I do it too. I think a lot of us do. I had them too, actually, for a long time. Except in mine, Dad was always Dolph Lundgren. And Mom was always that Gelfin chick from The Dark Crystal, which is weird. I haven't watched that movie in forever. But I uh, finally, finally learned how to make him stop. How? I started time traveling. Jay, would you? I know, you told me not to say that. I'm not suggesting you time travel, because honestly, I don't think you could. It's not inside your body like it is for me, but I'm, it wasn't really the time traveling that made it stop. It was just that I was ready to face that reality and face those problems head on. That's when it stopped. Well, I'm glad you figured it out. So I sure haven't. No. You haven't. You're actually a pretty hot mess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you will figure it out. I know you will. And I have a present for you that I think will help. I was gonna wait till Christmas time, but I think it's overdue. Okay, is this, is this thing on? How do you know if it's running? Just, just hold it steady. There you go. Okay. 
Hey bro, I know I didn't get you anything awesome for Christmas this year, but since I got this sweet new camera, I thought I'd just make you something instead. This here is a tribute to the B squared. What's that you say? Well, I'm about to bu 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 break it down for you. Double B, B squared, best buds, bosom bros, Bernard brothers, and the best double B of them all is my big brother, McAttack. McAttack, McAttack. He's smart. He knows more about history than any dude I know. B squared. He's probably reading the encyclopedia right now, yo. McAttack, McAttack, Mac. He's tough. He broke his femur when he was only two years old. He learned to walk in his body cast, made his legs real strong. B squared. b b b b break it down. And let's not forget. Yeah, he's good with the ladies. <laughs> McLean is the best brother anyone could have ever asked for on Christmas. All you haters, beware, 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 because we are the B squared. I'm here with the lucky parents of McLean Stevenson Bernard. What do you have to say about this wonderful son of yours, sir? Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> I didn't prepare anything. Uh, McLean is the type of son that makes it easy to be a dad. McLean is a great boy, and soon he's going to be a great man, and I'm very proud to be his father. Well said, sir. Thank you. Well said. And you, ma'am, oh. what do you have to add to the remarks of your husband? Oh, um, okay, uh, well, everything that you need to know about McLean can be seen in his eyes. That boy is true blue. Um, loyal, caring, kind, he does his best to always do the right thing, mm -hmm. even when it isn't easy. He loves his family more than anything else in the world, yes, he and does. he would do anything for them, especially his mom. Whoa. Wait, wait, is that, is that true? <laughs> oh. And I hope that he knows how much we love him, too. Now, back to you, Jake, you handsome devil, you. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I wanted to give that to you earlier, but, you know, uh, I missed you. I missed you too. An organic brother hug in front of a fully trimmed Christmas tree? We did it. You can't get more Christmassy than that. <laughs> or can you? Mistletoe for... <laughs> To try to okay, have kiss. you're good. Are we're you good. too? Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> it looks great, you guys. Thank you. Except you forgot the star. No, I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked too very poorly, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> really? In the bins or not? No. I wonder if we left it up in the attic. Oh, I'll go get it. You sure? Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Don't be scared. Hey, we're in full family mode right now. It's pretty cool. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, neither did I. Did you see this coming? <laughs> Mistletoe. Really? <laughs> it's me. Okay, okay. Let's see, babies. If I was a star on the tree, I would be hiding in a bunch of this whole thing. We got some rope to do stuff for. No way. Oh, yeah. Double no way. Ooh. Now, this is my favorite view of Christmas. <laughs> we got the tree, got the stockings, we got this view right here. Not bad, huh? No, not bad <laughs> at all. Oh, yoo hoo! So, I did not find the star, but I did find these cool family Christmas videos. Yes, we should watch them. And I found this. You <laughs> no, put that away. It has been away, Claire. It cannot be away anymore. Oh my gosh, Dad's old shotgun. You better believe it. <laughs> Where'd you find this? It was upstairs under a bunch of junk in the attic. Let's go shoot something. No, yes. absolutely not. We are not shooting a living thing. Oh, <laughs> why? We just cut down a living thing. Yeah, what's the difference? That's not the same thing. Is it is the same thing, Claire. I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is a family tradition. It's called the Christmas hunt. Don't soil the name of Christmas. Claire, it's a tradition. Do you hate traditions? This time, he's telling the truth. Really? You too? 
I can't believe you can even hold that thing. Come on, it's not like we ever actually shoot anything. We just sit around on a blanket, drink hot chocolate, and we, you know, chat about lots of stuff. Like about feelings? No, Claire, please, it's Christmas hunt time. Now get your coats, it's time to go. Okay, fine, but the only reason I'm going is because conversing in this beautiful snow sounds really fun. Fine. I'll make some hot chocolate. I'll go pee. I'll get the duck call. Hello? McLean! John McLean! Die hard! Hello? Who is this? McLean, it's me, Dr. Murphy! Come on! Oh. Hey, Dr. Murphy, what are you, what are you calling about? McLean, your brother's life may be in danger. Listen to me if you want him to live. Schwarzenegger, right? Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. No, 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 see, 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 now, McLean, now, what I need you not to do is hang up on me because I did a little research and it occurred to me that your brother's life legitimately may be in danger. Also, as a parallel track to that, yours may be too. What do you mean? So, after our last conversation, uh, McLean. I did a little digging because I felt slightly a uh, yucky uh, inside of myself, right? So uh, what I've discovered after digging is that uh, maybe, you know, um, you shouldn't reconnect with your brother uh, because he has a long history of a... Uh... <laughs> I can't whistle. And, I'm, and what I'm doing is the fingers around the temple thing that they do, you know? Uh, what I'm getting at is uh, he, he... he's straight up great, right? He really is. So he has a psych history uh, that is longer than my, um, I can't whistle. I'm pointing downward. He has an acute history of uh, depression. He's delusional, sure, but I mean, depressed, I don't, I don't think so. Depression can often disguise itself as many different things, right? Uh, you know, I mean, take me, for example. You know me as the life of the party. However, I will tell you that I'm often zipping on Zoloft, right? And you've never called me out on it. It happens. He escaped from three different mental institutions, and he made several suicide attempts. Most of them are drowning. Uh, how, did, how did I not know about this? No, 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 it's just me. Uh, but it occurred to me that maybe um, you never cared to ask. McLean? Hello? Um, 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 McLean? Yeah? Here's what I need you to do. I need you to do me a promise, okay? I need you to not feed your brother after midnight. Wait, that's something else. No, but still good advice. What I need you to do, okay, is realize that this brother of yours, he can manipulate you into thinking things are okay, and suddenly, wham. Wham what? I don't know what's in your brother's brain. Because the brains are, are complicated things. There's, cerebellum and the, 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 the cerebral cortex, and we don't have a map quest to the brain yet. Okay, well, great. Uh, it's, thanks a lot for the help. Oh, it's no bother at all. This, 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 is, this is what our, us doctors do, you see. Uh, what, and I'm a therapist. I'm a hypnotherapist. See, you see. You still there? Virgin Mojito, Dr. Murphy? Thank you. You will not be a virgin mojito for long. Not the straw, not the straw. Straw's daddies. Probably a pretty good spot up around here. We just have to find a clear spot. Well, I think we should go to the spot we used to always go. Yeah. You guys have to promise not to shoot any cute things. Everything we're shooting at is going to be maybe cute, right? Yeah. What about over here? Yeah, let's go down there. I'm going we down this go way. this way. No, that's no there's dangerous. a path. Jake, go this way. There's a path right here. This is like a nice, gentle this path. This is a path if I ever saw. Jake, you're going to fall. He's going to do what he does. I think I you. should get to hold the gun, because I'm the one wearing Hunter's Orange. I'm going to take care of it, dude. Are you OK? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I know how to handle guns. Woo! I'm a real man. Wow, it's real Hang easy on, this I'm way. There. Really deep. This way is way faster. Oh, you beat us. Yeah. I think this looks good. I'm gonna kill a thousand ducks. We gotta put the blanket down. Put it right here. This is the duck spot. I've never done this before. <sighs> it's 
so pretty out here. Very, very pretty. Very Christmassy. It's straight up Christmas out here. To be quiet. <sighs> Are you serious? It's, I have hair in my mouth. Is that? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> There you go, there they are. There you go, Donald. Shoot one of them. No, they're too far away. I want to do it then. Just let me take the gun. Dude, I am going to be in charge of the gun. That's just you be in charge of the duck call. Fine. <laughs> just come on, give me the gun. Give me one try. No, I, we haven't even, I haven't even got a full try. You guys, how long do you think you could survive out here? I mean, like, if you were stuck. Why do we have to be all morbid? It's just a question. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Uh, do I have a gun? No, no gun. So that's about right. Mm -hmm. Do I have a phone? Yeah, you could have a phone, but it's dead. Why would you give him a phone? What was the point of his Because it's dead? he's been stuck out here. Why, why would you give him a dead it's phone? It's just a game. I don't yeah, know what's the point. If, why does he get a phone if it's McLean, dead? play or don't. OK. You have a dead phone. Good luck doing something with that. I guess he wouldn't survive. He wouldn't. It doesn't <laughs> sound like he'll survive. How many days? Fine, I'll play. Do I have you? Yeah. Do I have you? you? OK, that's really weird. <laughs> that's not so weird. I got to know how much food to get. Is that what you meant? Yeah, that's what I meant, you weirdo. You probably meant that I was dead. And... Is McLean dead in this scenario? <laughs> no, he's not dead, but you're out here alone, all by yourself. All right, well, maybe this will answer your question, Claire. I have all the water Mother Nature's provided for us. Yeah, but it needs to be melted or else. It will melt. I have every pocket full of thousands of licorice. And I got a sweet day right oh, Dude, do oh, not, oh, oh, do, do not do it. Oh, 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 oh my oh, gosh. Oh, 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 you do that? You oh, wanted to eat oh, how did I do that? You did. You grabbed the gun. This is all your fault. No, it was an accident. I didn't. It's a male and a female. So they were probably married to each other. Let's just put them away. Let's just, just bury them. Bury like them. some animal will eat them. No one will know. No, you know what? You guys did this. You murdered these birds. And now you're going to bring them back to the cabin. Come on. Pick them up. I don't want to touch these. I am not eating these. Oh, yes, you darn well will. We will use every part of this buffalo. Now gut it. They're such a beautiful pair. Can't we just go bury them in an internal grave of snow? Fine, but if I hear or see that gun again, I will use it on both of you idiots. Understand? Now get rid of them. Goodbye, little duckies. Namen to Padre for what we are about to receive. Just a couple of ducks and they're flying by on a starry Christmas day. They didn't know what was happening. Then a shotgun blasted them away. Now they're sleeping forever in eternity. And one's in the other one's arms. Don't worry, ducks. You'll be all right. Now you're out of harm. We'll burn you in the spring, my friends. Why did you not tell me? I would have never let him anywhere near the gun. Well, I haven't had a chance until now. This is the first time we've been alone. I knew he was a trip, but suicidal? I know, I know, but that's what Dr. Murphy said. You said he was a quack. Yeah, but you said he was highly recommended, so. <sighs> do you think I've been nice enough? Do you think he's felt nurtured by me? What do we do? 
I think the only thing we can do is take him somewhere where he can get professional help. I, I was looking up some institutions earlier. We can take him in tonight. On Christmas Eve? Are you kidding? No, no, no. What he needs right now is to feel loved and supported by his family. You know, he needs to know that we accept him for who he is. Okay, and you need to put on your boots and go out there before he jumps in the lake. Hi, oh, yes. what took you so long? You were gone forever. I'm so sorry. I was doing funeral service for the ducks. I'm fine. It's not too cold out there. I could use an extra couple blankets, though, if you got it. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm, I'm glad you're okay, man. Thanks, brother. Do you think there any wild animals are gonna get the ducks? Definitely. I left them wide open for foxes or whatever. You guys are being so nice to me. Well, we really care about you. I mean, I hope you know that. We really, really care. Yeah, I feel it. I do. Mm. It's just right. Good. Got plenty more of these. That's okay. So, um, why don't you tell us about one of your warps? Claire, I'm not allowed to talk about that. No, we're curious. Yeah, Jake, it's okay. We, we want to hear about them. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of them. I guess there was this one time that I was at Coachella. It's Coachella. Huh? Or Coachella, just depending on who's... I'm sorry, go on. I wandered off one night into the desert and I lost track of my body temperature and fell asleep and yeah, I woke up in the same desert, but it was millions of years before. I was in the dinosaur age, surrounded by little tiny dinosaurs and bigger ones, but the tiny ones are the mean ones and that's what scientists don't know yet. So what did you do? Well, I pulled out some licorice and I fed it to the tiny ones. And then the bigger ones ate the tiny ones while they were eating the licorice and I skedaddled. So how did you warp back? Well, McLean, it was a desert, so it was hot all the time. So I did what any man could. I waited. Till what? Well, luckily there was an ice age in about six months and so that took care of that. Oh, I also took care of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I, I have a question. I'm just, I'm a little confused. Most scientists believe that the, the ice age that killed the dinosaurs took a lot longer than six months. Well, I didn't say the ice age. I said, ah, uh, uh, ice, ice age. age. <laughs> oh, well, then, I mean, scientifically, that there were a lot of ice ages, so you, you're, you're right. Yeah, I, I lived it. What do you mean? You don't believe me? No, it's, of course, it's not that I don't believe you. I was just saying that scientifically you are spot on. Thank you. you know, it feels really good to be validated. Lots of times people just say that I'm whack. <laughs> you're not whack? No, oh, that's, that's whack that people think you're whack. Yeah. Right, McLean? I mean, your, what you've been through is yours and they're your experiences, and, and no one can take that, that away, what you've experienced. Thank you. It feels really good to have my brother believe me. <sighs> oh, Fudge. Is it seven? Why? What's the matter? We have to do the nativity. Why at seven? What at seven? Because that's when Jesus was born. I don't think anyone really knows when McLean, he was... McLean, I... Should we get the costumes? Brother and sister, this, for your delectation and delight, here is the nativity story presented to you by me, as seen by me in real life, as it happened, uh, in the flesh, when it was going on at the beginning. My account, a co go gospel according to Jake. It's also about an hour and a half long, so buckle up. Claire, I need you to play Mother Mary. McLean, I have other parts for you, but they don't come for a little while. Okay. All right. Claire. 
for I bring you great tithings of great joy. Mary, I would like to marry you. I am Joseph of... How did you get that? Because we're not married and people will want to hurt you. Joseph. Ah! Uh, what is it? You have not been with Mary, but she is pregnant and it is immaculate. <laughs> and she will have a baby and he will be... Take her to Bethlehem. I had a dream. Mm -hmm. And in that dream, I saw an angel. Will you marry me? Yes. Just, just for this play. Yes, yes, Joseph, of course. Anyways, then they went on a journey and they needed a donkey. Uh, McLean, can you help us be a donkey? Here, come on, just like that, there you go. Yeah. And Mary almost fell off one time. Oh. A lot, you guys don't know that, but Mary almost fell one time. Re rest here, Mary. Okay. And I will go find an innkeeper. Um, and he did pro approach an innkeeper, and he said to the innkeeper, um, he said, there's no room at this inn. There's no room at this inn, but here, come. Sit down. Mary, did you know what? that your one day your baby would be born in a stable? And then the shepherds were out in the field. They did have a shepherd and sh 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 sheep. One night the angels or the shepherds were sleeping in their field. Sh they woke up to a mighty uh, angel, the same one that who had come to Mary. Shepherds, why are you lowing? Do because we... You're, you're just one of the sheep. Behold. You don't say behold. Do you, you guys see the star? And the, and the shepherds looked up at the star. And they saw it. And they said, we see that star. And the angel said, go to it. For unto us this night is born this savior, a city of Dajel. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the manger, she was having her baby down there. And the star was born. And Joseph, Joseph said to Mary, you did good. The shepherds brought him gifts, or the wise men came, and this is gold. He'll put it on his stomach, it will crush him. And they brought him this frankincense. Oh. Brought the gifts. And they brought him this expensive blanket all the way from the Orient. Oh. Don't cover his face or I'm he sorry. will suffocate. Amen. That's the real story. That's truly how it happened. Most of it was word for word. I messed up on a couple parts, but, and these pants have this thing on there that I did not do. Yeah, I know. And it's all sticky. Like it's some sort, someone wiped a cinnamon roll on it or something after they were eating with it. <laughs> hey, Jake, wait, you forgot these. Oh, thanks. Here you go, bud. Thanks, buddy. Hey, it was a really good show. Oh, that old thing? I've been doing that for years. Well, it's really a tearjerker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till you guys have kids so I don't have to do it all by myself. You don't want kids? I don't know. Of course, we want kids, we just, well, we can't. At least, not on our own. Well, that can't be right. Yeah, it's, it's really sad. I'm just, I uh, don't really know how to tell people. Things have been really hard between Claire and I, and maybe you should know. It's weird at first sight. Kind of resented her, because we thought it was because of her. Then, recently, I think it might be me. Yeah, sure, tell me this after I make her baby Jesus' mom. No, no, that was fine. It's just, in the future though, definitely be careful about mentioning kids or babies. It's just, I don't want to upset her, you know, and it's hard enough as it is. Well, I feel like I should tell you this. That... Hey, babe. Yeah. Are you coming to bed? Yeah, I'll be right there, babe. I should go. Yeah. Sure. 
Sure, 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 sure. Merry Christmas, baby brother. Merry Christmas, B squared. Okay, but your your breath is kind of like a nightmare. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. <gasps> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Let's go wake up, Jake. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Wait for me. Oh my gosh. Jake, can you wait? It's Christmas. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, Tinkle Christmas. Oh Christmas Tinkle. Oh oh <laughs> Santa, Santa came. came. It's oh, Christmas. Oh. Santa came. <laughs> you're gonna like this one. I think you're really gonna like this one. It's a puzzle. This is like one of the most famous German castles. I know, I was there when it was built. My favorite! Peppermint Bark, I'm not sharing. Your jammies are getting a little tattered. So are these jammies? Why did you do that? No, well, don't tell them. I, did, I didn't, no, I don't. Just open it. Sleep tight. <sighs> I'm just going to leave mine on the button, probably. Yeah, but well, you have a lot of layers on. This is the best Christmas yet. <laughs> oh, a scarf. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, Here, it's you sit right there. Oh, an ornament. You made that when you were a baby? Yeah. I think that's, is that I think everything? that's about it. Oh, wait. It's everything. What's this behind the sled over here? What? Oh, there's one more, Claire. I didn't even see that one. Oh, behind the sled. It's probably for me or Claire. Yeah, I think it might be wait mine. Wait a minute. For Mr. J. Oh. This is for me? Yeah. I already got lots of presents. Well. You deserve more. What could it be? Whoa. What do you think? Oh, I love it, you guys. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> we thought you'd need a new one. I did. My old one was super tatters. I think it's been a pretty awesome Christmas. Yeah. Well, I have one for you guys. Hold on. What? Yeah. Here, you sit there. Okay. You sit there. You know you didn't have to get us anything. I know. But mm -hmm. I wanted to. Oh, but Here that's you go. where all the toilet paper went. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We're out, by the way. Uh, it's for both of you, but I think maybe Claire should open it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know just you being here is enough. I know, I know. Just open the present. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's in here somewhere. Ah, I see it. Oh, here we go. There's something. Oh. What is it? You guys, I know McLean said that you probably can't have kids because you know, his little guys don't swim straight or whatever, but those doctors are idiots. You have a baby girl, and she's so sweet. You name her Lucy. Excuse me. No. No, Claire, she's healthy, and you're healthy. What do you think you're doing? 
Well, I'm just telling What you. are you doing? McLean, I'm telling you. What are you telling me? What are you? I told you specifically not to talk about that. McLean, I, I just, you have a baby and she's happy and we healthy. We can't have a baby, okay? I told you that. I know, but I'm telling you, that's wrong. You do have a baby, and you don't have it, like, through adoption. You have it the old-fashioned way. You don't know that. You haven't seen it. Yes, I have. You cannot time travel. You said you believed me. I don't believe you. How can I believe you? Everything you say is a lie. That's not true. You're, you're my brother. Okay, you think you can time travel? Yeah. Why didn't you go back and save Mom and Dad, huh? Why did you let that happen? Why did you save them? You can't change the past. Okay, yeah. You can only observe it. It's really inconvenient. You just make up a rule about how it works, okay? But it doesn't work because you can't do it. Yes, I can. You need to stop telling yourself that, okay? Because it only hurts us. I got to go in there now and deal with this. So you need to pack up your crap. And when I get out here, I am taking you somewhere where you can get help because I can't help you. I can't help you. I, I'm... I'm so sorry. I specifically told him not to talk about that, and but it doesn't matter. He's packing his things. I'm gonna take him somewhere. He's not gonna bother. Is that fun? What? What are you doing? Should we do it again? You need to stop protecting me. I'm your husband. I'm supposed to do that. You think that by protecting me, it doesn't hurt as much, but actually. You're making it worse. I know that you hide the baby magazines, and I know that you tell my friends and my mom to not mention anything that could possibly remind me of our situation. But I need to deal with this. Let me deal with this. He has been nothing but sweet to you. Adores you, and you just tell him he's crazy? You think that's helping? You just be his brother. Goodbye, snow. Goodbye, beautiful trees. Goodbye, duck blood. Goodbye, McLean. Jake? 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 Jake, did you go up? You in the attic? Jake? 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 Jake, stop if you can hear. Jake, where did you go? Jake, come on, man. I want to talk.
What? Wait up, Jay! McLean, what up with you? Please, don't go. Jay. Jay, please. Please, don't go. Come home. Please. I don't think that's a good idea. You s said a lot of mean stuff to me. I know. I was a real jerk. But you're my brother, and I need you in my life. Well, I can't be in your life if you don't believe me. I believe you, Jake. I lost you once. I don't want to lose you again. Well, that's good, because I didn't really want to go anywhere anyways. You gotta go. No! Hey, Jake, I'm not gonna let go. You of have you. to. You have to go. I'm not letting go of you. I need you. I'm not gonna let you go. I can't. Mac, you can't come with me. Okay? You gotta go. I'm not. Please. Jake. You said you believed I me. I do. Then prove it. I'm just trying to do right by you. Did the things you wanted. You a fresh set of clothes if you ever back this way. And uh, Merry Christmas. Some licorice in case you get hungry. Oh boy. I don't know where you are, brother, but, or when you are, but if you ever back this way, hope you stop by. Anyway, I love you, and you're right. She's beautiful. Merry Christmas, bud. What do you think? Does it fit? You like it? Pull it up a little bit. Just a little, uh, there they are. OK, <laughs> very funny. And thank you. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Mm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody's awake. Who's awake? Hi, little cute cute. Hi, little cute cute. Cozy mommy. Mm. Hi. Oh, yes, she Did does. you have a good nap? Oh, thank you. Oh, I love you oh, so yes, much. Did you have a good nap? Love you, little muffin. I'll go get her bottle. Mm. I love you so much. Merry Christmas, babe. Okay, All right, hey, babe, can you maybe get a little bit less water in there for me? Thank you.
Do you know what year it is? Mezen Z. 